Welcome back, friends. In this video, uh, I'm continuing with uh, Cambridge International Exams, uh, O level, and this is taken from October, November 2006. Okay, the question is: the temperature at the bottom of a mountain was eight degrees centigrade, and the temperature at the top was twenty-six degrees centigrade. Find a the difference between the two temperatures. So I've drawn a number line. So this is your minus 26 degrees, okay, and this is your 8 degrees centigrade. So the question is, what's the difference between these two temperatures? So to understand the difference, I'll go from the difference is from 26 to 0 degrees, or minus 26 to 0 degrees, you have a difference of 26 degrees, and from 0, so this difference this difference I'm saying is 26 degrees centigrade okay and from year to year you have a difference of 8 degrees centigrade pretty easy so that is 26 plus 8 which is 34 degrees centigrade the next question is a bit tricky the mean of the two temperatures so the mean is halfway between these two mean means the average mean stands for mean means average okay so mean is but if you want to find the mean of suppose or average of say five and seven okay so what you do is you know the mean is halfway that is you divide you know the even without doing it you can know the mean is six so how do i know that that is five plus seven divided by two which is 12 divided by two which is six okay halfway so basically they are asking you what's halfway between these two temperatures. So halfway is, uh, so if you want to find the halfway, it halfway is minus 26 uh, plus 17. Okay. Okay. So that is uh, halfway of 34 is 17, isn't it? So 34 divided by 2 is 17 so the mean temperature is the minus 26 plus the half of the of this total which is uh, minus uh, 9 degrees centigrade okay the mean of the temperature is so I'll show that on this uh, so let me write the answer first so this is 26 minus 26 plus halfway that is 17 which is minus 9 degrees centigrade so the mean is um, yeah minus yeah so minus 9 what I'm saying is minus 9 comes halfway so this is your minus 9 okay and this is your minus 26 okay and this is your 8 okay now this is a difference of 17 degrees centigrade can you see that so 0 to 9 is 9 and 9 plus 8 is 17 and from year to year if you count this is also 17 degrees centigrade so the mean between these two is minus 9 degrees centigrade this is a tricky question okay you can go wrong here if you don't understand it graphically okay Find the fraction which is exactly halfway between 5 ninths and 8 ninths. Okay, so you got 5 ninths, you can do like this 5 ninths, 6 ninths, 7 ninths, and oh, 7 ninths, and you got 8 ninths. So halfway, this is comes here, somewhere between 6 ninths and 7 ninths. Seven ninth. Okay, so yeah you can go like this so that is 6 ninth plus 7 ninth divided by 2 which is 13 ninths so this is 2 over 1 times 1 half which is 13 eighteenths which is 13 out of 18 okay so this is 5 9, 6 9, 7 9, 8 9. So you want to find halfway. 
so which how can you do in a different way I'll do one more way so you can also go like this five nines plus eight nines uh, divided by two okay okay so this is yeah so which is 13 nines times one half which is 8 plus 5 is 13 is that right so that is 13 out of 18 this is also a different way of doing it both will give you the same answer okay and finally estimate the value of five square root of 5000 up to one significant figure so you, this is only an estimation you don't want to exactly find so I know 40 squared is 1600 okay I'll go from so 50 squared is 2500 60 squared is I'll explain how to do this is pretty easy 70 squared is 4900 and say 80 squared is 6400 so what you want to do how you can do is 4 times 4 is 16 and 40 times 40 is 1600 so same way you have to put two zeros here so 5 times 5 is 25 and then you have to put two zeros now the question is so can I say square root of 4900 Square root, is square root is the opposite of square is 70 and square root of 6400 is 80 so you want to write in only one significant figure so this is the uh, this is called this is a number in one significant figure of course this is uh, the exact answer but you can say this is in one significant figure so square root of this is very 5000 is very close to 4900 so therefore I can say square root of 5000 in one significant figures is 70 so you'll write like this one significant figures so this is 70 point something okay so I'll show this just to explain what I mean on a calculator if you have a calculator to understand this square root of 5000 is 70.7 so this is in one significant figures is 70 okay see you in the next video